play, and it, I don't know. There's just something about it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So right. what's up, guys? How's it going? We could. We're just chatting about the Arnold. Yeah, we're just saying that me and James are both doing the Arnolds for the first time at the same time. It's awesome. Yeah. I uh, I wish I could do that with you guys, but I think I'm going to be fucking burnt out. You are definitely going to be burnt out, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Are you burnt out right now? No, I feel okay now. I just, you know, I, I, I plus I need to just get back to progressing, but like, mm-hmm. I already know after the Olympia, I'm going to be pretty over it. How, how, how's your mental right now? I feel good, honestly, though, since I moved into this new house, dude, I've been struggling to fucking sleep. It's been terrible. Really? I've been, yeah, I've been sleeping like four and a half hours a night. It's been crazy. Is it just because new environment or you, you just, I think uh, you just anxious. I think a little bit of both. I mean, I think I really wasn't struggling until we got into this new house. And then I think like we, we like put the mattress on the ground. So I don't have a bed frame yet. My bed frame is supposed to be here today. Mm, yeah, so yeah, like yeah. I'm sleeping on the ground in like a Shit. new room and it just feels weird. And then like, obviously we, you know, we just put training a little bit ago. So that doesn't fucking help. Yeah. So I don't know. It's just been bad. But other than that, I feel really fucking good. I just like, God damn, I've seen some sleep. Yeah, I hear that. Mm-hmm. You get, do you have a CPAP? Do you have a CPAP, Justin? I do, yeah. Works wonders. It's my favorite <laughs> it's thing am- in the world. Yeah, it's amazing, but it's been driving me fucking crazy lately. For whatever reason, like, I've just... Oh, yeah. I, I'm kind of bad with my CPAP. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know that. I know my, that. Yeah, I'm like that. My CPAP looks at me every night, and it's like, put me on, put me on. And then half the time, I fall asleep without it on, but then I keep waking up. And I wouldn't keep waking up if I fucking had it on. But... Yeah, I've got, no, I've got you, like a you really don't well. wake up. No, you don't. You literally sleep the whole night through. Like, I, I'll get up and go for a piss like fucking ten times in the night. Whereas if I wear the CPAP, sleep all night, wake up in the morning, go for one piss, and I'm happy. Is yeah, that so, weird though? Yeah, because yep. yeah, I, I deal the same thing. But I've just found like I'm a fucking I'm a drooler. So like I, I sleep on my side and I'm drooling. Then I fill my face, my mask with fucking drool. Oh, same person. Yeah, same person. <laughs> it's like fuck, dude. Because I'm a mouth. Sexy I'm, lips. Dude, yeah, I know. It's in big old sexy <laughs> things. Yeah. But I'm a, I'm just a mouth breather, so I like I breathe through my mouth. So I have to have the full face mask, and then I end up just like, I don't know. Yeah, Justin, when I have the same full face mask, and um, I drool also. So when I go to go to bed, uh, go to pee, whatever, I put my mask up here, and then I feel the drool just coming on my my head, on my skull. <laughs> oh, dude, like, that's oh my too god. Much. Oh, uh, then I have to take a little. I wipe it off and go back to yeah. bed because if I don't put it, if I don't put it back, if I just wear it half the night, my blood pressure is higher in the morning. Yeah. Oh, for sure. So no, I mean it's I, it's invaluable. Like honestly, I can't even tell you how much I need it and how much it changes everything. But like, just for whatever reason, right now being in this new environment, like I just think yeah. that it's just that plus the mask plus fucking sleeping on the floor and. Yeah, you for know, sure. Being going to bed fucking hungry and, and all that shit. Oh, four weeks out. Yeah, so what, five, five and a half. Five, five and a half. Yeah. Yeah. H- hunger, hunger's always the one that got like kept me awake. I'd wake up in the night and I'd find myself. I'd go to the freezer and I'd eat like twelve ice cubes just to. <laughs> really? That's what I did. That's yeah. When when I, I was really hungry last year for some reason when I was getting ready for the UK Arnold. Um, yeah. I think I dropped my calories a little bit too fast initially, and mm. I was just waking up in the night and having like a sixth meal that was just consisted of ice. It's just ice. to get through tonight. Yeah, that's funny. Six ounces. <laughs> so, do we got to do? Yeah, but that's it'll be tough. Over soon, bro. It'll be over. I know it's rough. Yeah, it's rough. But uh, it, yeah, it is. But dude, it's like a fuck. It's a luxury, man. We're choosing to do this. I'm hungry on purpose, yeah. so it's fine. Pretty much. Yeah, I just started. Yeah. I just started. I just started reading a book about like uh, this this survivor's account of Auschwitz. And then it's like, you, you know, you start feeling sorry for yourself when you're hungry. Yeah, wow. And then I'm yeah. reading this book like, oh, this is fine. <laughs> yeah. what, I'm still, what eat, book? What I'm still eating reading? six times a day. Wow. So what's the book? I don't, it's, it's one my that Jasmine just gave me. It's just like a, some survivor's account. I'm only like a, a chapter into it, but. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that will put you some perspective, right? Dude, perspective for sure, man. Honestly, like, I, you know, the second you start feeling sorry for yourself, you're like, mm, actually, what we're doing is like we're hungry on purpose, and how 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 rare of a luxury is that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, fuck, yeah. If you read a book like that right after you lost a show or whatever, you're mad. You're like, yeah, maybe I should my read that. Really <laughs> yeah, my life's not too bad. Being a, a, like, yeah, being a being a loser to a pro bodybuilding show is is not too bad compared to some lives. Yeah, no shit. 
Yeah. So James, I uh, I seen some guest posing video. You you look fucking insane, man. You look humongous. Your legs oh, look like horse legs. <laughs> I couldn't yeah, believe it. I was, I was quite happy. I was I I I filled in the guest spot for um you know the gentleman. Um, Go to Milos's oh. page. It was like the video he Milos posted. Crazy. I don't. Yeah, I can't I'll remember the gentleman's name. Is. I found one. One second. Who's the gentleman that did the show? You did, uh, Justin. Got like fourth or fifth American guy. Good legs, crazy legs. Did you do your show? I don't know. Uh, Blessing got four at Chicago. Okay, it must have been a different show, but it's an American chap, and I'm sorry for names just because my brain's like a fucking sieve. Um, the guy with crazy legs turned pro like last year, I think. Um, oh, uh, a white guy? Um, yeah, yeah. Fucking, he did Texas. Uh, yeah, yes. I know what that's the name. I forgot the name. Fuck, what, what's the fucking so name? He was going to do it, but he just had some issues turn up. Uh, no, jo- is it like... Um, Jonathan Withers. Like, Withers, 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 sorry. Yeah. Jonathan oh, Withers. yeah. So he was going to do it, but he had some issues come up last minute. So I was like, I was like, Branch, do you want me to fucking jump in? And I weren't really keen on yeah. doing it. Well, you look very awesome. impressive. Dude, Dude you look amazing. Look at that. Yeah. You look incredible. I, I appreciate that. Good lighting on the stage, you know? <laughs> well, it's crazy because you just had gyno surgery, what, like eight weeks ago now? Uh, seven weeks ago now, I think. Seven weeks, yeah. It just shows how good the surgery is, though, doesn't it? Huge. Look at that. All did, you, did you double up your leg frequency when you were letting your boobies heal? No, I didn't know. No, no it talk. fucking looks like it. Jesus Christ, walks around like that all year. I, um, I think it's the because sh- sh- I pulled the pants up, it kind of accentuates. So the little pants up, James. It's the compliment, you little bitch. It, it's it's <laughs> all an illusion. <laughs> it's an illusion, lad. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I I had a great time, and uh, the feedback was like again, the guys enjoyed it, and uh, I was happy. Yeah, you Sweden look, are a good you crowd. Look killer, dude. What do you what do you wait here? Uh, I, it's funny because AJ. I'm not free twenty there, yeah. You know, AJ likes to do like this whole yeah, kind of uh-huh. promotion of bodybuilding, like WrestleMania. I'm like three oh five. That's still very, very big. Um, How tall are you, James? Five eleven. Yeah, that's a good. That's good. That's really good. Thank you, man. Appreciate that, brother. Like, it's the first time I've walked on stage, and I'm like, okay, I might have close to the amount of muscle that I kind of need. There is still obviously need a bit more, but I've got a few more months. Are you were super yeah. lean at that weight. Yeah, yeah. You have all the tools, man. You look fucking Thank awesome. You, man. Looks like your arms are growing. They're getting better. I like obviously they're still not. I'm not like genetically that great in the arm department, but we sure, really don't still. You, man. Know, you have legs or you have arms or you have. Some people have a bit of everything, but yeah, they're definitely better than they are. And I think that's just from being a bit more intuitive with the training and just listening to how things feel. You know. Yeah. Um, we've, we've got we've all got experience and we've all got uh, an understanding of our own bodies and we know what feels right and what feels wrong. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, I know a lot of people ask me what I do to train my arms and it's like it's just so it's so fucking irrelevant for you guys just don't worry about what i'm doing it, it's just something that you just respond with isn't it you know what I mean? yeah like i you know i do like two sets at the end of my back day of biceps and that's it yeah whereas you i know? find now like I've, i'm doing like um four exercises three sets on each on bicep and tricep nice. once a week there you so go so actually there is no set yeah there is no set way you know well honestly what matt matt set me up with a new training program where he, put, he had me doing arms twice a week, which was kind of yeah. weird because I, I don't need to bring him up, but it's less volume, more frequency. Yeah. So at the end, yeah, of, end of my back touch. day, I hit him once. And then end of shoulders day, I do like two working sets of bicep. And for me, I think that's better because I fucking, I hate training arms. It's so boring. Yeah, that's kind of how training like, arms suck. Yeah, fuck, it's so boring, dude. Mate, that's, that's, so that's how like, Jordan Peters does the same thing. Like he's always like, arms is so fucking boring. If you train arms on an arm, then oh. he gets offended because he's like, so dude. not worth going to the gym for. I can't. So he'll I cannot. Like you did. Yeah, I can't spend ninety minutes training arms. It's like I'll fucking. I just it's kind of hard after the session. It well, is. Well, what I do now because I have to do because I got this like arm day. So what I do is I'll just throw some shoulders in before because my shoulder day is a few days back. So throw yeah, do some do some laterals and do some uh, rear flies and then move on to some arms. So it at least feels like the workout was worth doing yeah yeah usually usually if i program like an arm day for a client or even for myself i'll, I'll have some shoulders like it lateral raises you can never do too many lateral raises no, like, you can do are, a few times a week. when are your del- side delts ever too sore to train never actually yeah, yeah seriously exactly. it was every day and it was so fun. yeah you probably you probably could it's kind of like training i mean don't get me wrong calves get fucking sore but you can hammer Cam- calves you can yeah, train, you can train pre- frequently for sure i, I'll I feel the same way about side i've side never been sore exactly just right here no that's tough it's like yeah. a difficult sensation to achieve i know i've been sore in the rear delt yeah that i've felt before i'm a little sore in the rear delt right now i think i got a bad shot oh 
Bee sting, little bee sting. I have had, had something similar this weekend. I had a, I had a headache in Sweden, and it's because I put a shot in my traps. Did oh, you? I, oh, I like, this is fucking stiff, man. I've, I've never done that. I've always wondered. Like, I mean, it's it just it seems like it's, it's really easy. easy. And I just use a, I just use like a regular insulin. Right, we have to move the mattress. Oh, no, so we have to move it. Yeah. Okay, hey guys, I have a, a moving company here that's moving my bed frame in, yeah, which no, is good news. But I have to go move my mattress real quick. So yeah, don't worry. Build my bed frame. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Leave, leave the thing. Right. Yeah, 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 of course, right. course. I'll, I'll be back in like five minutes or so. Point the camera at them doing their job, and we'll make sure they're doing it correctly. I'll yeah. bring it with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I tend to just do this, um, you know. Using these insulin pins and trying to do my shots daily, and Jordan was always one of those guys. It's like traps is really easy, and I never used to do it, and now I do. But you can get a bit groggy, let's just say, because it's That's kind funny. of your neck gets a bit tight. One of my friends, I won't say who it is, but training his feet muscles. No, Ew. fuck off. You're yeah, afraid, yeah. I swear. That's a fetish. That's, <laughs> a, fetish. That's a fetish. He, he had tread feet. So what, like in the bottom, like the base of his foot? It was like, um, no, in, in the foot muscles. All on top, so where it's like. Yeah, like um, on the side of the ankle, the little ball there. I know, what what, what possessed him to do that, though? Just so you could see he had tread feet. <laughs> Strange old chap. That's pretty... with headphones now. What's that, guys? No worries, no worries. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me again? Still here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, good, man. I switched it up because I can hear myself in the back. Yeah. Oh, it's um, it's Justin Shire. Oh, because he's probably left his headphones near his uh, mic. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. So all right. So, yeah. Updates, what's been going on? Why am I here? Oh, oh I, I, what's been going on? Yeah, so I had so this I had uh, big uh, event. Um, um, oh, Jesus Christ, one sec. You can mute Justin for a minute. Yeah. Hello? You're good. Oh, wow. There we go. So I had this uh, big event at the gym that I organized, the Deadlift Champion Tournament. Yeah, how'd that go? Dude, it was a pretty good turnout. I don't have much pictures yet maybe i'll show you guys some pictures i'll just find some i and saw a couple one, of shots you look like there's quite dude, a good like audience one guy pulled nine nine fifteen. oh shit what's that in kilograms that's like 300 um or something james what's the most you ever pulled i haven't pulled nine i haven't pulled nine i've pulled 800 for a few reps before but not yeah like, that's dope. i've never done no fucking wow. 900 shit um i don't read really, i'm not that good at deadlifting actually I was pretty good. I, the most I pulled, I was it was years ago. I was like twenty four, maybe. I, I pulled a little over seven hundred. Yeah, so that's one of those lifts. Like, obviously, if you was putting that down, and if you if you did wish to stick to it, it yeah, I probably would have been. Yeah, would have been super strong. Yeah, I just, like, I, I just, I don't know. I got, I, 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 I for, for me, it just like I just almost felt like the risk wasn't worth the reward anymore. For sure, and I and I don't think for everybody it does help develop their physique. No, I don't think it really did structure. anything for me in that terms. Because, like, once I stopped doing them and, like, really, you know, paid attention to back training, my I back freak out grew here. a lot more. Look, yeah. I'm freaking out. Look at that. Oh, shit. He did that pretty I, easy, too. I know. He's trying to go for 950 in seven weeks. Fair play to him. That was pretty fucking easy. Yeah. Let's just see that again. Look at my reaction. Was I muted? Am I muted? No, I'm good. You're good now, big man. I think I was... bring him back on. Yeah. Okay. Cool. How did that? How did that go, Antoine? I didn't see much. Uh, much coverage. So I'm just waiting on, on the reels. Uh, the reels got to be sent soon. Yeah, it's 450 kilograms. Wow. So, uh, but Crazy. this guy pulled 915. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. Pounds. And the girl. You're free. Yeah, I know. And this girl, where is she? I don't know if she's here. Oh, there she is. So Elizabeth, she pulled, um, I think, 505. Whoa. That's um, she's a little thing, right too. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That's a good, that was a good pull. 440, wow. 440, 480. That's so impressive. Fuck. She is a very yeah. good deadlifter. I, I know. Say, I, do, I do love seeing a good conventional. I am 505. 
I do find sumo a little bit. Oh, you know what's funny, James? In one in one of my rules, it says sumo is not allowed. Good, good. I, ban, really? I banned sumo. Yeah, I banned I banned well, it at my event. Well, well let me just That's say awesome. something about sumo. Like, it's great. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean you, you have to be fucking strong. I'm gonna like, start doing noticed. sumo now. Yes, <laughs> the, the people that can do sumo really strong, I rate it. But the minute you put them over to conventional, it shaves a hundred kilograms off the lift. So what? It's I'm game. That's crazy. Totally different. Ball. It's totally different, man. Mm. Totally different. Mm. Range of motion, amount of muscles involved. You know, you're not really even bent over on a sumo. You're literally doing leg drive. So it's kind of yeah. like, um, you know, I don't hate. I, I don't it think there's any. Yeah, it has its place in powerlifting. It doesn't have any yeah. carryover for a bodybuilding sense. No, in my opinion. no, I agree. Yeah. No. But the thing is, I think the strongest deadlifters in the world, the, the, the world record is conventional with straps. Yeah. Eddie Hall. Is it? The, the yeah, 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 yeah. Does it still have? No, I thought. I thought. Uh, it. Yeah, it did, but it was in like a. It wasn't like an official event, so I don't know if they. Oh. Does it have oh, okay. it? I, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think they. I think they, I think they counted it. Against such. But he only Did beat it by it? a kilo. I think he only beat it by a kilo. It was a kilo. He beat it. But yeah. Well, that's all. Yeah, that's all he wanted to do was just. Yeah, that. just fucking just be like, beat, eh, uh, I beat Eddie, you a little yeah. bit. That's funny. And then he, and then they boxed and he beat him there too. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool. What do you remember, Nick? Yeah. You were gonna say something. Yeah, I, was... Well, I was remember. I can't. I was. I forget where I was. I was where I was at. But I was actually. I was coming home and they had the the Thor uh, deadlift on TV. Mm -hmm. And watching him pull that, it was like he had so much more he could have done. Oh yeah, for sure. Did he didn't even struggle with that. <laughs> I think I think he got injured during that like uh, that prep for that. So I think he was injured that day. I don't remember what happened, but I remember there was like an injury. Really? Or something. Yeah, yeah. I know he got um, injured at the last his first meet back. He did the bench press, didn't he? Tore his pack. I do. Yeah, yeah. He his pack. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of risky, man. Especially if you, it must be even more risky when you decide to change your discipline for a while to go into like fighting or something, and then you come back and, and then try, try to shift back. It's totally yeah, that shit's totally different. Man. I think I, I think he rushed it a little bit, and he yeah. probably just should have took it a little more slower. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a different ball game, you know. Yeah, you were in it once, but you, you shifted for a little while. Quite a long you time. Know? Quite a long time. Yeah, I feel like your body adapts and just becomes a completely different beast at that point. And he lost all that weight. Like I remember seeing him at that, mm -hmm. one of the Arnolds, and he was just like a, a tall, skinny dude now. Mm -hmm. I mean, not skinny. I think he's still like well, 380 pounds, but yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't. You know, 400 pounds anymore. Yeah. No, it wasn't the Hofthor from, from uh, no. it wasn't exactly the mountain from Game of Thrones. Yeah. It, it was the hill. <laughs> yeah, he was, was the, the little valley. <laughs> the little valley, yeah. Uh, has, he been to, has he been to um, pure muscle? Hofthor? Yeah, has he never been over there? No, no. Pretty far dry for him. <laughs> yeah, but he goes around. Yeah. I, I would have thought he seems to show up in a lot of places, so I would think maybe he you're right. He does. I mean, we don't have like uh, that many super crazy influencers at the gym. We have Regan here sometimes, and we have uh, some some like fitness smaller influencers, but nothing worth dry, maybe going the way for him, right? Yeah. And um, I mean, I think the, the gym's worth it, my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, the gym's worth it, but this guy is a strongman, right? Yeah. I don't. Yeah. We, I don't think he cares about our. He doesn't care about the. Much. He doesn't care about the Panada lineup. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> care. <laughs> <laughs> he, he probably just lives the machine itself. That's his exercise. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but talk about strongman. I trained with Mitchell Hooper yesterday. The the the, the current world's strongest man. Yeah. Oh no shit. Yeah, and uh, the crazy thing is that if you put him on a bench, he's super strong. Yeah. But he's not stronger than like you guys, especially like James and Nick and stuff on presses. If you, you put him on a squat, or... no, you put him on the standing up, like overhead press standing up. Yeah, yeah. I I, yeah. I got smashed. I got like I couldn't do like nothing good compared to him because it's all about the core. Yeah. They'll they'll just yeah. bend backwards and press up. It's just crazy strength. But like on the incline log press with a bench, I actually put two point five pounds aside heavier than him. Just uh, just did one more rep than him, but then everywhere else he just smashed me, yeah. and uh, it wasn't even motion. They train in totally different. Like oh, it was yeah, it was pretty crazy. Mm. Like um, and it's funny because the guy's twenty seven years old. He's three twenty. I'll show you how he looks like. Wow, he's, he's only twenty seven. Wow, yeah, twenty seven. 
He's got a good run ahead of him. Then he's a good age. Yeah, I think I yeah I think what's um, really good about him is that he, I think in competition he's like super fast. He's the fastest. Yeah, and that, that in in strongman like a lot of them are quite an athletic event. You know, you got the the run, yeah. like the distance I'm, events. I met him at uh, the Dragons there. Super nice guy though. Oh yeah, super nice guy. Seems like the craziest fucking sport to get involved in. I I think personally for me the the world's best athletes overall. If you have to send somebody like in outer space, that's a that's a human athlete. I will send a strongman. That's yeah. the, the, those or are like the best a, athletes in the world, or like a very very high level CrossFit athlete. I know that's a, maybe a bit controversial, yeah. but the, no, no, those you're guys, right. You're, those guys, yeah, are you're incredible. right. You're right, but like <laughs> it's the functionality in it. They all may be gay, but they're very good. Yeah, the thing is, like, okay, CrossFit, yeah, they're good with a barbell and chin ups. These guys will like they're overall the best athletes because they're pretty fast. They move stuff in awkward positions. They're just like. Yeah. Give them anything, they're gonna lift it, right? They're um, very impressive, man. Incredible athletes, yeah. So um, let's see where. I don't think I did any any. Uh, oh, whatever, doesn't matter. But um, yeah. So it was pretty cool training. I kind of hurt myself doing close grip bench, though. Like I heard a click on oh. my chest, and, and, I, and my I told Juju, "Oh, just strike it up." But I think it, I'll be fine. It's just pretty tight here, so I think it's a muscle strain. You guys ever had that? Yeah, it's of like course. a yeah. no bruising. Yeah, no, no bruising. No, so I'll wait. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll wait two more days, and because um, for dinner I should go down, then I'll see what's up. But today I'm I'm moving a lot better. But yesterday I was like, ah, oh, man, if yeah, I what press, I, what, a minor strain. Yeah, if what I press with my mean? arm, it hurts. It was close your bench, and uh, I, I had I did three and a half, and I went down to three. But it's kind of weird because the strong men they just take long breaks, so I had like no pump for like. Starting from like twenty minutes in the workout, I had a pump, and then there was no pump. Dude, so you are it out. You are not a long break kind of guy. I trained with you, and you're like fucking go, 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 go. Do you ever, ever when you were training, you, you kept going. Yeah, but when we were going, you kept like, do you want to superset with this? Do you want to superset this? Should we superset with that? Let's do a drop set. Oh, pretty, yeah. Do you want to do a oh, superset? Like, no, I'm like, it's like no. I was like, no, motherfucker, I want to chill. Yeah, you know it's crazy now. Like since we trained together, and I talked to Chris Tuttle, I talked to uh, I think James. You were part of the, some of the conversations. Mm -hmm. I don't do supersets anymore. No. Yeah. And, and the and the first exercise, I won't go to failure. I'll just warm up, and yeah. I have less shoulder pain, and I got b bigger pumps. And I do yeah. straight sets, and I I don't do I do one drop set a day. Good, and, good. And I think I, I think it worked. I think, I think it works. there's a I think there's a time and a place for it. like you know if you're like finishing a workout and you want to superset pec deck with some push ups or something and get a burnout. That's, that's fine. a really good superset. But I think that there's just it's just a really efficient way to make sure that you underperform on the like subsequent movement. Like people will superset you know a fly and a press, and it's like well then your press goes to shit. Why don't you just do some flies yeah. and then do a press? That's why I you think. Know? Like a superset is always something that's a tail end exercise, isn't it? It's, it's a like, tail end thing for sure. When you're finishing off a workout, typically. Yeah, um, and I think people like, feed too much into like the, the pump and the sensation. Like, yeah, it feels really good, yeah. but you know, then you end up like you know pressing you know ninety five pounds on a barbell instead of three fifteen. It's true. It's true. So what, does Mikos? <laughs> does Mikos make you do? A... He doesn't make. Luckily, he doesn't make me do anything, so I'm, I'm happy. Because mm. because I know he's <laughs> like this. I'm not a giant sit guy, man. One number no. one. Like realistically, when you're in the gym, how the fuck are you gonna giant set when everyone's in the gym? You know, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be that guy that's like selfish and kind of say that I'm using this, this, and this. Um, and you know, it's not like I don't know how to build muscle. I just it's more to do with like the the dieting and the, the getting in shape and maintaining muscle on the way down. That's my kind yeah. of concern. Um, I do the odd like superset, but again, at the end of a workout, after I've already done all the stuff that I consider the yeah you know, potatoes, you know. Um, yeah, only the, it's funny because I was thinking about this the other day with training. Every body part that I train, it starts with that kind of the compound kind of focus at the beginning. And then as it goes on, I might isolate some stuff. Legs is the sure. only one I do the other way around. Yeah, so it's all isolation first. I start with calves, then I do like hamstrings, then I do adductors, then I do leg extensions, and then I do my squat or my. And I always found that to be really, really good. And then it got me thinking, like, what would happen if I did that with other body parts? But then, like you say. If you hammer your pecs on like an isolation movement and then you get to your press and you can only move 90 pounds, 
It's like, is it yeah. worth it? I don't know. I, I was thinking about this. Today. So I I do the same exact thing as legs. I always start with a hamstring curl, then I do adductors, and then I get into a leg press or a squat. Mm-hmm. For me, I think it's like a safety thing. I feel warmed up, and I just I, I don't know. I get more out of it. I like doing I, I like doing an extension, like a quad extension, before a squat. Like having my same, quads same. full blood. So I. But I will say, like I've been lately, I've been doing three sets of of cable flies before my pressing movements and. Okay. Luke I like it. As well. I was, yeah. Yeah. I was going to, I usually start with the fly movement. Yeah. And I will take some sets to failure with it. And yeah. it really has not affected the pressing that much. It's not a huge dip. Like, I, I think no. I was, I was doing like uh, four and a quarter on the hammer strength incline. Then I put the flies first and I still did like four and a 10 for the same. Yeah. Time. yeah I mean, that's yeah. still really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It's like not, it's, it's not like a, a very significant. And honestly, like it, it's a way that I use to progress. Like I just like, I found myself not progressing that movement. So like yeah. then I put flies first, and then I'm using a different load, and it's just yep. a different, a different. Um, uh, and also, sequence. if you are looking to, yeah, if you are looking to progress, and you just progress from that point, like so, you're like, you can still progress a lift in your a lift in your uh, movement pattern when it's not the first one. Yeah, you know, if everything's yeah, ordered, just shifting around. Yeah, and and there's nothing to say that you can't. Like let's say you do fly every time and then you press every time. Both those lifts can still progress anyway, so it doesn't. Yeah, matter. yeah, definitely. You just progress in a different sequence. Yeah, exactly. Some somebody commented and goes, "Nick's arms are still bigger." I said, "Yeah, no shit, no shit." Nick's arms are <laughs> that, that was a good day, though, huh? That was a good day. Yeah, I had a good pump for sure. I will, just uh, that was you got some big fucking arms, bro. Thanks, dude. Yeah, they're not. I mean, they're not. Definitely not yours. I think you're like no gap. Like where your bicep, like your bicep touches your forearm and then your like shoulder, and there's just no, it, it doesn't, it can't get any squeeze, more squeeze. It's a well put together <laughs> bicep. Thanks, dude. Yeah, and that's coming from a bicep uh, extraordinaire. So, a bicep, <laughs> yeah, bicep extraordinaire. Yeah, 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 I do find like even doing like bicep curls when I'm pumped, like I can't do get like a I feel like sometimes I can't get a full, con- full yeah. contraction. Yeah, it's my it's forearms the, are jamming against my biceps. The taper is really good. The vacuum, yeah. the taper. Yeah. Side try is good too. I posted that side try where I was like in the with like the quad out, like the transitionary side try, and I had like six people be like, "Dude, Tyler Manny said they don't want you posing like this. That you're not supposed to pose this. This isn't a side tricep. This is Instagram right now. Oh, this one here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, go fuck yourself. No, I'm just showing something. (laughs) And it's like that's how I pose. I hit the side tricep, then I do that, and then I go into my uh, ab and thigh. Yeah. Yeah, and instead thought, of the transition, you can do this. Yeah. As long as you hit the pose when they're asking for the pose, then your transition can be whatever you wish, you know? Yeah. And I, dude, I, I like my I like my side tricep from the side as well, but it looks good both ways. So like but at the end of the day, when you do a bodybuilding bucket. show, ultimately, yeah, and when you do a bodybuilding show, you want to try to no such cancer when you come away from that show, the photographers are taking as many good shots as Hell you yeah, can. definitely. No, and look, yeah. that 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 side tricep transition, like not everybody can hit that pose and look good. You know what I mean? So no. it's like, uh, no. you and you and Andrew hit that really nicely. Andrew hits that as well. Like Andrew that. hits it a lot better than I do. I feel like, but he's he's yeah. just. I have to get my leg out. He's able to kind of pose it Turn his knee almost out. right underneath him. For some reason, it just looks better. Oh, like, okay, be so okay, tall. okay, yeah. See what I'm saying? Like if I if my leg was straight, I wouldn't really be able to lock out and flex my quad. So I have to put it out in front of me and it. And his is just a little mm. more casual, casual looking. Yeah, I see what it's you're It's really saying. good. Yeah. But. How are, you yeah. Feeling going, how are you feeling going into your first Olympia, bro? I feel good. It, it's, it is weird because it's like a, it's the first show that I've ever done that I'm not, you know, don't feel Maybe the pressure to, to, to win, you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like every show I've ever done, I've gone in to win. Like even my pro debut, I, I, you know, whether anybody expected me to win, like I expected myself to win that show. Mm. And uh, this is like, you know, but listen, the way things are shaping up, you've got Ian that's out, Rami's out. And I feel like there's like a vacancy in the top 10 that if, if I fucking nail it, it's top 10 is actually a possibility. So like, there's still that fire burning in my belly that, you know, I can maybe sneak in that top 10 in my first Olympia. Like that'd be incredible. So at the end of the day, listen, there's, there's, I wish, you know, like, just go in there and fucking have it and whatever happens happens yeah. and you're a world-class body but if you make it to the fucking olympia you're world-class like no one yeah. can take that shit away and it's only the fucking onliners that ever say oh well you make it to olympia and you know i don't believe you're gonna be in the last pool at all not like i was um 
like, well, last year, I was in like the second to last or some shit. But I think some back even then, I'm like, well, I still got to the Olympia, man. Come on. No Maybe shit. Too hard. How many how many pro shows have you won, James? Like four? Uh, three now. Three? Yeah. No, man, you're you're world class bodybuilder, hundred well, percent. And I think always, I was, there's always the exception. You know, you're always gonna have there's 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 good and then there's fucking great and. We're, yeah. it's, we we have to be motivated by the greats. So we see the guys like Nick, of and we have to just be like, well, they came from the same start as us, so you know, just keep fucking working because one day you might yeah. be able to get there. You know? Yeah, I think I was kind of talking with Matt the other day, and he was like, "This is," he's like, "This is the one Olympia where no one's expecting anything out of you. The only pressure that's on you is the pressure you're putting on yourself. This is the one you go in and just have fun, and then he goes every year from here is like an uphill climb. Then you're expected to be better every year, so." Enjoy now, now I want to ask a question to Nick because I feel like Nick is such a um, uh, uh, mentally kind of unique individual, and I don't know if you can think back to that time. But obviously, your first yeah. Olympia, Nick. I feel like yeah. you've always been the guy that goes into the show with the mindset that you're like, I can win. Like even the first Olympia, I bet you felt that way. I did. Um, yeah. See, even my first Olympia, like with you know what Matt just said to Justin, just kind of enjoyed a little bit. I mm. I wish I did that more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but coming off the Arnold win, I was like, nah, fuck that. Like, yeah. I want to win. Fuck yeah, dude. My first go out, I just want to fucking win it. So, not, and I also had already the pre- pressure to exceed a better look than what I had at the Arnold. <clears throat> and meanwhile, the body, my body was kind of in the beginning phase of kind of just burning out a little bit because, you know, I was in prep for New York, then the Arnold, then they went. Yeah. So, I was already starting to feel like, Oh shit! You know this isn't. But at the same time, I'm like, I, I, I'm gonna win this motherfucker, and I, and I don't care. So, even yeah. those final two weeks that I had that break from the Olympia or from Arnold to Olympia, it was just I didn't care about having fun. I just I said I, I was I won this Arnold, and now I'm gonna go win the Olympia and do exactly what I said I was gonna do. Um, you know, and even top, I got top five, right? So. Yeah. Your first Olympia getting top five, anyone in the world's gonna be like that. Fuck, awesome. I was disappointed as fuck. Well, that's the uniqueness yeah. in your character, and that's what makes. You I, I, I I I literally went into a rut because of it, because I want I expected higher of myself, yeah. and now you know, kind of now that I'm you know a lot better now and at handling things and looking back, I it's like, dude, you were fifth at your first Olympia, like you need to enjoy that shit. <laughs> um, yeah. But that was just never my mindset. You know, it's just win, 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 win. Even when I was younger, playing sports, like I, it, I was, I was a winner, and I always wanted to win. Yeah. I have a lot of respect um, for that, man. I have a lot of respect for that. I float, but even you know, for this Olympia that just passed, mm. you know, that was a the, that all season was rough. The whole year was rough. So I, I even remember telling Maria, I, I, I said, look, look, if I get fifth again at this Olympia, okay. honestly, it'll be a win for me. I'll be okay. Oh, really? for, okay, so you actually okay. So it was that. That's so that's a total difference, sort of. Yeah, you know, because I, 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 for a while, the prep itself last year was just not the best for me mm-hmm. starting out. So I'm like, if I can just somehow turn this around and move and groove, if I get top five again, I'm 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 good. Um, what point did you get then, back with but, Matt? How many yeah, how many weeks out? How many weeks out? Started to come together. Um, you know, that's when me and uh, Maria's relationship started to get a whole lot better, and she stayed with me throughout the whole way. Yeah. Um, you know, and then I'd say about uh, I got to like five or four weeks out, and then the mind, you know, set changed more, and I'm like, "Fuck this! I'm winning this motherfucker." Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. And then you know, I end up improving two spots, and I'm like, I'm looking at this year, and it's like, you know, I didn't have the longest off season, but it was way more productive than last year. And every day, you know, since me and Matt started to prep, I'm like, I'm going to win this motherfucker. I don't care. Yeah. Good. I love that. I love that. Like I said, last few days I've been um, obviously in Sweden and one individual that I've been around a lot the last few days is Branch uh, Warren. And uh, he speaks about that kind of mindset. And I know he's a fan of yours himself. He's a, he's a, like when, when you did the Arnold last year, when we were sitting in the restaurant watching it, he's like, Nick's got this, Nick's got this. And um, he always talks about that kind of mindset. He's like, you got to be more like that. He's like, bro, you got to be mm. a fucking, like, Branch is a hunter, like, like there is you gotta no... You got to be a savage. You do, and he, he was telling me that even yesterday, uh, two days ago, we had dinner before I left. He's like, Jay, it's your time to be savage, man. So, like, I, I respect your mindset, and I, I hope that I can kind of adopt a little bit more of that approach, because I think it's fantastic. Listen, Absolutely. listen, and listen, like, this isn't to say I don't have bad days, you know, yes. everyone has them, but you can't let that 
change what you have planned up here. You know, yeah. like you just have to be like, fuck it. It happens. Tomorrow's a new day. I'm winning this motherfucker. Yeah. And that's, that's just, you got to maintain that throughout. And sometimes it is hard. It is difficult. Yeah. But again, looking back at, you know, my trajectory, my career, it's like, fuck, I'm due. Like, this is my time. Yeah. yeah. I moved up two spots last year. I'm going to move up another two. And that, that's yeah. going to be that's it. it. Yeah. To the apex. You know, you know, Nick, I got to say that you've, uh, you've inspired me a lot through this process, man. And I, I remember coming into that pro debut and I remember saying on podcasts a few times I was going to win. I said, I remember what, what's your plan? I'm going to win my pro debut. And every time I said that shit, I thought of you, man, I mean that. And, uh, there was a part of me that, you know, you, I'm, I'm a little more reserved. I'm not as, um, it, I, you know, I'm very sure of myself and I fucking believe in myself, but I'm not always the guy that's just going to go out and say that shit. I just usually just kind of keep to myself. But I remember thinking like <clears throat> Nick puts that shit out there. Mm -hmm. And he believes in himself so much, he doesn't give a fuck what anybody thinks. Yeah. He doesn't give a fuck, you know, if anybody judges him or thinks he can or can't do it, he says it. And uh, that's why even, like, I know a lot of people don't think I can land in the top ten. I don't, I don't give a fuck, dude. Like, fuck if if I want to, I have to say it. I have to believe I can, you know what I mean? And I'm never, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and tell myself I fucking can't do it. Like, what the fuck is that? Say it, you know? say, <laughs> say it right now. Say it right now. I'm aiming for the top ten, dude. I've said that. Nick knows. I've, I, no, you're, I've been, you're gonna I, be in the top ten. Yeah, That's I believe right. I can for sure. And, I, and, I and I honestly, I truly believe you will. Yeah. You know, Thank you man. have a, a very, very good physique. You know, I, yeah. I, I think you know, you just might need a little more muscle. Obviously, for sure. Yeah. But in terms of the muscle you have, the shape, the structure, the genetics, um, the condition. You're 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 top ten, bro. Like that's it. Yeah. Thank yeah you, I don't man. think that is. I know last year, obviously, Rafa got top ten, and I see you comparable with that. I think you beat him. Yeah, there you go. So. Yeah, you know. I don't know, man. Yeah, Rafael's very good. You know, and another thing, no, like he I, he's extremely good, but yeah, he, so Justin, yeah. I, there's something you just have something. I, I can't like pinpoint it, but yeah, sure. You just have this look. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And you, you have to own that shit every fucking pose when you go out there. Fuck yeah. You know, and I, this well, is another thing that, that Matt kind of reminded me of. He's like, he's like, dude, just time, man. Like, you got to understand that every single guy in that Olympia stage this year was a professional bodybuilder before I ever even got on stage. Like, every single one. I can't sit, think of a single one that wasn't already a professional before I ever even, you know, did my first show. True. So like I'm I'm very very new to this and I'm fucking extremely proud of myself for being where I'm at and uh, I I do believe in myself 100 percent dude. Fucking lovely. That's what you, you know, Ju Justin. People yeah. don't have your proportions. No. That, that's, yeah. I think that's that's the thing that puts you apart than the other guys because you have the muscle mass in the right place and then your proportions is like yeah, you know, it's it's, yeah. it's it's like it's it's like a better Caprice Murray. You guys remember Caprice Murray? Yeah, it's like a, a better version of that. You yeah. know, listen, I'm not I'm not naive. Like I look at this shot and I like I know that I could th have thicker adductors, fill out my legs more, spin me around. My back needs to be thicker. But I also look at myself two years ago. My legs were a lot smaller. My back was a lot smaller. So it's yeah, it's all about the trajectory and, and, and time. I'm and, like, you've got you've got more than you haven't got. And that's what it is. <laughs> isn't it? Like in this this game, it's like, yeah. Who's got like, who's on their way? Who's not? And, like I look at your physique, and there's more. I can look at more of the things that I admire than the things that I don't think are there. Like so, sure. you're winning yeah. the battle. Thank you, man. I agree battle. with that. I agree yeah. with that. You know, and the crazy thing, look like that. <laughs> the crazy yeah. thing, Justin. <laughs> that face. You know, yeah. You know oh, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, nice and big. I know it's funny. You know how I discovered who you were, Justin? Is um, yeah. I saw like. Uh, before and after you posted, before you turned pro, and yeah, I was like, "Holy shit! How mm. long? I don't remember how long it was. But it was not that long." And you, it looked like you were a total, totally like different bodybuilder. Yeah, what is the picture? Two years, I think. Like, I uh, I posted like a two year transformation. I'll be able to find it. Yeah, if you send if you send it in the group chat, it's worth it, it's worth bringing it up. So. That's how I was, that's how I, I remember who you were. Like, oh my god, I've never seen somebody gain that much muscle in two years. And yeah. I, I think you, I, I think you made uh, Matt Jensen even even more popular with just with that, that transformation. <laughs> well, listen, dude, Matt helped a lot. You know what I mean? Like, I 
I, um, I didn't quite have my training locked in. I didn't really know how to diet and eat. And like Matt set me on a trajectory that was, that allowed me. That's why I always encourage people get a good fucking coach, get someone that you trust with and build a fucking plan to win. Cause I got with Matt, he laid it out. I executed and like within two years, it was profound what I was able to do, you know? Mm -hmm. Who has a dog? Is it Nick? No, I mean, that's, that's, it is me, but that's not my dog. Oh, wow. I think it's something across the street where the neighbor. Did you, move, did, you didn't move yet, Nick, right? No, no. So Monday. Hey, Antoine, Antoine, you want me to send it to you? Uh, like mm -hmm. on Instagram? Yeah. So this is like a picture of me from my first prep to right before nationals. Oh, my God. I'm going to put it up. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, it's yeah, that was he, what, what, like... what impresses me the most is the lats. Yeah, how? Yeah. I don't know. I The lats, I'm just like, fuck it. Yeah. yeah, that was two, two years apart. So, that was 2019 for my first show, and then 2021 when I turned pro. Yo, my man had no tricep scoop. Dude, I had nothing, right? Isn't that funny? <laughs> my, my arms are pretty good, though. Like, you were all bicep there, weren't you? Like, my, yeah, yeah. My, my biceps are pretty good. I mean, you can you can see it. Like everybody goes ass there, like, bro. It was definitely there. Yeah, it's just oh, God. I look I mean, horrible. Your quads are even pretty good, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just did. I just didn't. Sweep. I just didn't know how to pose. I didn't know. Yeah, I just I look <laughs> look how unsure of myself I am there. <laughs> You're just like I don't know about this. <laughs> yeah. yeah the, face, the, the face is different. Like yeah, I I think that's how I do it. This is like yeah, yeah that's how I do it. And then the confident yeah. look. Yeah, for sure. But it's amazing because if you look at the waist, like you've kept it with all that muscle you've earned. There's not been my waist got smaller. Well, I mean, I'm just, it, I've been just hitting a vacuum, but yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, listen, I, I just, I look at that progress I made in two years. And then you look at the progress I made from the, from the right to now. And then, you know, man, in another three, four years, I think, I think um, I'll be fighting with Nick for the top. That's how yeah. I see it. Let's go. That's what you gotta scream it out loud, brother. Yeah. So Nick, you were saying obviously you you're moving Monday, did you say to Antoine? No, no, no. So Monday, um, they do like this thing before oh, yeah. closing where we have to go do a tour or something. They talk you about an inspection. with us. Yeah, you get a house. Right. So well, you... no, we already did that. It's it's totally it's something I don't know. I never done this part before. <laughs> really? So you uh, did get the house though. Like huh? You did get the house though. I guess I haven't really heard much, so I guess it's it's a it's a go. What do you mean? If you already paid for inspections and yeah, yeah, but so like we have that thing on Monday, um, and then October 9th is the so far the official closing date, and then okay, cool, good. So you got you already put like down your earnest payment and you're in escrow yeah, right now. That's, that's yeah, done. yeah, it's all done. Good. Yeah. good. Well, then you're in contract, and it's uh, it's all you, buddy. That's awesome. Yeah. Good for you, man. That was such awesome. a fucking. It's such a pain in the ass. It's. It re well, it's it's a, a bigger pain in the ass, and I'm sure you know. Is you know, being, being self-employed. Yeah, yeah, they, they for want sure. Every fucking little bit of info. So, so I went and I got updated bank statements, like a transaction statement. Yeah. Every yeah. every single day for 11 days straight, and and faxed it oh, to my fucking. Oh no shit. Every single day, they're like, because we're supposed to close. And they're like, yeah, we just need to see uh, updated transactions. Okay, we need to see them again. We need to see them again. So, like, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday again. I was like, dude, you guys, what the yeah, fuck dude. is going on? Because yeah. they want to make they want to make sure I didn't spend my fucking money. So every day they're working on my loan. They're like, you need to make. I need to make sure you still have the money. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure I didn't spend it all. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck, dude. Moving wow. House. Moving houses. And then out of nowhere, you know what they did? They they go, we need you to send. Since it's, it was a cannabis loan, right? So yeah. cannabis is it's it's just different because I I don't qualify for just conventional uh, home loan. I I did this is like a federal FHA home loan, but the process is just different because there's a lot of scrutiny being cannabis money. Okay. And uh, the day before we close, they said, "Hey, we need uh, six months uh, mortgages in reserve." I'm like six months? That's fucking thirty grand. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, you need to send that to title. You need to send that to title today. I'm like, uh, okay. So I fucking, I, I have, and it needs to be, 
it needs to be seasoned money. I didn't have that money seasoned. So I had to have it gifted for my father-in-law. So like I'm getting money. I'm giving it to my father-in-law. He fills out a gifting form. He sends 30 grand a fucking title. And then before we can close the next day, they go, Hey, we need to get that wired back to your father-in-law and then back to you. And I need to see the transaction statement going back to him and then back to you. And then we can close today. Like, dude, like, I just fucking busted my ass to get it to you guys. Now I have to get it back. And my father-in-law was on fucking vacation. And I'm like, dude, you guys. I feel like maybe it's a little bit more complicated over there than it is here. I, I think so. <laughs> well, well, Justin, do you feel it's more complicated because it, you it's the, the it, cannabis it is. business? It was, it was absolutely more complicated because of the cannabis thing. Because it's the thing is, James, it's not... It's legal on a state level, but it's not federally legal. Yeah. So it's still federally okay. illegal. So, and these are federal loans. So like mine, I had to go from, you know, like to a senior underwriter and go through these different underwriting processes. And it was just a complete nightmare. Sounds it, mate. I would have had yeah. Danica all over it. I would have been like, come talk to me when it's done. Yeah. I know. Oh, dude. Yeah. It. It's such a nightmare and it's, it's so unnecessary, but I don't know. Now I'm like, it's um, done now. It is done. Yeah, we're all we're all done. But it's like I have to, you know, if I wanted to avoid that, I'd have to like, I'd have to put my my cannabis money, which is legal money that I pay taxes on, then I would have to wash it into my gym. Like I'd have to launder my clean money into my gym, and then approach the bank with like you know all this money from the gym. But but it's like but it's I already paid taxes on this, so it's it's just stupid. Bullshit. How, how how is the house? Because I know you've put out some content. I haven't watched it yet. Cause I was in Sweden. Um, I think it's awesome. Show, some of it off. Really nice house. It looks like that a view. House. It's the view for me. Yeah, the view is like amazing. Size as well, from what I've seen. It's like yeah, it's it, it's only eighteen hundred square feet, so it's a pretty. It's not that big of a house, but it's perfect for us. Yeah. You know what though, Jay? Yeah. I live in obviously London, and we got like our two bed houses are like. You know, yeah. If you came over no, here, I know. Shot. Yeah, and I've got three. I've got three. I've got three acres here. It's super private. I'm I'm at the top of a hill, so like I don't have any nice. neighbors. My my only neighbors are like way down here, so like I have a view of the entire valley. And yeah, I did a, I did like a little YouTube tour. You can pull it up on my on my pull it up on my Instagram. You can see it. I did like a okay. <clears throat> like a, hey. you can see some of it. Um, the France Pro was oh I see it, but the, the France Pro when is that this weekend? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that yeah, is. Quickly weekend. cover that and then wrap it up. Okay, what's that? I'm gonna show you, know, you your. To watch your... out, I'm gonna throw a name in there. Al uh, Alfred. Alfred. Patrick's client. I don't know who that is. We'll have to check him out. Uh, Alfred. I don't have to say his surname. He's Romanian. He got second to me last year at the Tsunami Cup, and he's very dangerous. He's had another year. He trains like a fucking animal. <laughs> look, at, look at the dog. I know. Oh, look at the hill. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah so it's cut. It's cut right. Now. Yeah, it's like cut right to the top wow. of the fucking mountainside. What what's the gun laws over there? You could do a gun range there. Oh, I could, yeah, I could do whatever the fuck I wanted for sure. Wow. But, yeah, then like you can see a little bit of the house over here. That that ceiling with like a window, is amazing. Dude, that's great. Yeah, the I mean, view that, is is fun. fucking crazy. I saw that. Is it Portland? What what city? So this is Southern Oregon, it's Grants Pass. Oh, that is. Mate, so it's like being in like Italy with the vineyards below you. It looks like it's, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, I have a big orchard that's right there. Then you can see like the river in the distance. Man, it's it's, it's pretty, pretty special. special. We, we got, got really lucky, lucky with this place. Go to Mario Brothers. I got the Mar got the, the Mario on the wall. Yeah, uh, James, <laughs> James <laughs> like that. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's but go to the. Um, what's that? France Pro, yeah. It's just the uh, Cheru, isn't it? It's a Cheru Classic show. Cheru Classic France Pro. Anyways, congrats to you and just uh, you and Nick for the, the house and stuff. I hope one day also yeah. to have a house. But, uh, let, let's Dude, see yeah, the. Oh, you, there's Alfred. Let's uh, let's go. You want to go see Alfred, guys? Let's check him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. this guy. Yeah, okay, I'm familiar. He is very I, good. I still got Nathan. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't know if this guy if Alfred will win, but I think he's definitely not spoken about by a lot. Two forty four. Yeah. Definitely upper body is, is something to, the detail is pretty crazy and density. The legs are good, but I feel like it's an insertion thing. Yeah. Let's see it on the legs, side. He trains legs. Yeah, I like my issue. Just yeah, but your legs, legs are huge. The connection's a bit lower, isn't it, than some people have it really high. It's a good shots. 
These are good shots, but if you got the hamstring there, I think Nathan, Nathan, Nathan um, with the yeah, boots. I'm would... still gonna go Nathan. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Nathan, yeah. Nathan in first of stuff. That's that's my be, three. I think, yeah. I think he's gonna be top three. And, and that's very good conditioning. But, Ten days out. But this is Dreaming. crazy conditioning. Let's yeah. see a back shot. One sec. Let's see a back shot. He's probably got a video to be fair because he does put videos up. He's not shy. He's Whoa! Crazy. Whoa! That's pretty crazy. That, yeah. look, look at the thickness of the lower lats. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I, 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 was, when I was on stage with him last year. I, I was like, I was shitting myself a little bit. How <laughs> 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 tall is he? Not, not overly tall, but he's probably about. Well, actually, no, he's not short because he came from two twelve two years ago. He and did, he okay. Open last year for the first time, and then this is his second year in Open. Um, he's got to be, I reckon he's probably about 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, he's not super short. And he's 244. I, I think he has a really good, like, the way his muscle mm. pop is, you can see his dense quite, muscle. He's round for, like, a... Uh, yeah. Yeah, kind of, he's quite round. Yeah. He, he, looks, very like he looks very European, because he's Romanian, obviously, so. But, yeah, so... Romanian, I okay. I think he's going to be in that top three, um... I think you'll get compared because he is very good. That's got some look at this. Like, yeah, but there's some weird thing going on with that. Like, you know how the iPhone is kind of doing the blur the back. No, like, no, that's that's the sh sharpness is increased right here, and they blurred the back. Yeah, it still looks crazy. Though. I know he's in shape, and, it's, and that's why I, I kind of hate iPhones because they do this thing. When I take pictures, like I, I sometimes take pictures for friends on their iPhone, and I'm looking for it, and then it snaps and it goes, it gets a bit harder, and I'm like, I don't really like that. There's settings, there's settings you can change. Yeah, I think I think people are changing the settings a bit. I'm not too much of a fan of that. All right. So you, you think? Wait, do you think this guy beats Roman? No. I think, I think him and Roman would have a really nice battle. I think that would be a good battle, though. Well, what about what about the back? Roman's got the legs though, and then he's got the upper body. So it's like he's got the legs. Yeah. He's got the legs. Imagine if you had Roman's lower body. And Roman himself. Roman's conditioning is like fucking insane. So okay, it's crazy. Crazy. Off the charts. It's really tough because yeah, I feel like I feel like Roman is a lot bigger than he appears to be when he's on stage. You know what I mean? Like he's a yeah, he's a big a big fucking guy. He's two hundred and seventy five pounds on stage and it's crazy. Imagine like if Roman could truly fill out that body. Like there would be a lot. I think and we all love Roman and he's just a fucking maniac and he does this for his mental health, I think. But if he could just dial back on the training volume, he, I think he'd grow. Save a few calories. Yeah. <laughs> or eat, eat some fats. <laughs> yeah, he's a very yeah. high carb, like low. Yeah. Know, I know. Why don't we go? No, he's extremely impressive. Yeah. That condition, yeah, well, is just, I, I mean, it's second to none. There's not a lot of guys. It's, fun, it's impressive. Yeah. It's fun to look at. It's like it's bodybuilding, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm a conditioning guy. I love conditioning. I think yeah, that's amazing. Really, don't we? We're the first to, all, all four of us are the first to see someone with a fat ass and say, why did they win? Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> yeah. For sure. That. <laughs> we ain't got to go too deep for that. That's exactly how we feel. <laughs> the, way he, the way he cranks into that is so crazy. But I'm, I'm so glad he's qualified because he, he's, he is an Olympian, you know? Right, sure. you just, He's just coming um, for fun now. He's um, other notable names obviously yeah. in there. You've got obviously this. You've got oh, this, Vitor. Uh, yeah, he's who's there, that? Apparently. I want a Vitor Boff. Is Vitor Boff is doing it? He's, oh, it's another one. He's one of and then Tim Tim Budishan, He beat he beat Roman last, last week. Tim yes, last did. week I thought looked exceptional. Oh, really? Tim, the yeah. the conditioning that Tim brought was extremely impressive. impressive, and the muscle density was retarded. Yeah, right? like, it was really good. He's a bit squarer, but he's got look at his legs. Yeah, he doesn't quite. He doesn't quite have like the you know like the V taper and yes. he's fucking hard as nails. These pictures aren't doing him justice. No, like some of the some, some of the back shots on that stage were pretty wild. Good bodybuilder, man. Yeah, German, very German, good. one of the best Germans now. I'd say if he's German, I think. He's I think you're. I think you're right. He, that's the only shot where I think lap more lap. You know, the actual underdog yeah. hit that kind of round. Yeah, because yeah. the lat, if you see the lat, it's like, this is the lat. Yeah. Right? A little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Yep, that, that would really be and, the only and, thing. And I think that's the difference between, like, winning and not winning. Mm -hmm. You know? 
Oh, back, yeah. This thing shows I went for the back. Good shot well, right here, though. And especially if you don't have, like, the flowing structure. And, like, like listen, my back isn't – isn't definitely wasn't the best back in Chicago. But I think, like, overall flowing structure, kind of like how Samson is. Yeah. Samson's back wasn't the best, but it just kind of flows very well. So I think you kind of uh, – if you don't have – if you don't have something else to offer, you better at least be complete. Hey, here's, here's a, a good Brazilian here. I can't say I've seen this gentleman before. He no, he's, he's also from uh, Brazil. I think so far what I see, he needs maybe a little bit more thickness. Yeah. But um, his shape is uh, really good. I'd like to see straight on. Let me find something straight on. Whoops, sorry guys. Here. Is this, is this guy, guy doing the show? show? Yep, he's doing the show. That's a nice looking physique. That looks better than yeah. what we've seen on stage. Yeah, that's one week ago. Oh, there it goes, straight on. Do you guys hear all the fucking tools and shit in the background here? Yeah, it's okay. A little bit. It's all right. That's annoying. I should okay, we'll shut the, my door. We'll, we'll, we'll let the guys. We we'll let the guys in the comments decide if it's annoying or not. Oh, they'll tell us. Yeah. These are, like but, young, these are like young prospects I'm seeing. Like these kind of guys. That yeah, like, right? But the there's a shot. One of them. Like, look at this the, shot. Yeah. They'll, they'll get to the Olympia, one of them. And then, admittedly so, the first Olympia would be like that last kind of call out thing, but they still make it. And then it's the endurance game. Like, are you going to stick with this? Because you have got the potential. Yeah. It's just, yeah. You know, yeah. I like his frame, though. It's like there's, you, if you add like a bunch of muscle on that, that's going to look nuts. Yeah, he's got a really nice frame. Yeah. So I'm just clicking all the guys that I don't know. So we have this. That was him, Leandro. We saw B Vitor, Alfred. Uh, we saw Tim. Mosey's oh, doing it. Theo. We know Theo. Home, we? Yeah, homeboy Theo. That will be the home uh, town sensation that day. Oh, yeah, he's actually French. Yeah, he is French. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Man, Great it, conditioning. Isn't, isn't it a shame that Lionel Becky couldn't get back to what he, you know? Oh, I know. Was he ever, though? He done the Arnold Brazil that time where he was really good. Yeah. And and, uh, and the Arnold Classic he won. The Arnold Amateurs he won. But, hey, what do you think it is? Do you think it was just a matter of him just not having the heart for it anymore? Just, just uh, I've, I've heard different stories because I've known him personally. And I he went mm -hmm. to uh, Qu Quebec a few times when I was living uh, over there. And I've heard it's just a diet thing. He well, just, can't, like just can't stick to it. Yeah, he just doesn't really like to. Like, I've heard him like he was eating fruits back, like uh, in the locker room. Where he was not supposed to, uh, or just like having a protein shake here and there. Like you know what I mean? Like something like that. Just like not very Man. like strict with the diet. That's what I. That's what I heard. Well, it blows me away that people do that shit. As well, it's not. It's not just a body. It's not just a physical game. It's. Like mental. mentality. Oh, it's hugely if mental. You can't get if, if you can't get your mental in place. Don't matter what you next you got for physiques. A day ago, one day ago. Well, because I mean, that's Nathan's looking at two fifty. Lionel, Lionel Bayeki. That's some, some of the, the best, best genetics ever. <laughs> yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's very good. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm. I think I'm with Nick on this one. I think uh, Nathan is gonna. Yeah. Get a second pro win of the year here. Number number 11's locked in. Maybe. Nathan's always more impressive when he's actually oh. put next to people as well. Yeah, Or yeah. on stage. I, yeah, I've been around him at shows, you know, for the years. Especially when he fills out. Yeah, because he fills that, out a lot as well. That front lat spread shot that he just posted the black and white one is so fucking crazy. Yeah. The thing with Nathan as well, he doesn't <laughs> yeah. pump, he can pump Man. up. So he's that guy that can so pump, basically have a workout backstage and he doesn't fade. Yeah, how yeah. come? I, bro, I've seen him pump up like aggressive. Like so yeah, even back since 2014 when we did the British GMO, like he would pump up harder than anybody and not go flat. He pumps up like this, pumps up like yeah, that. Just, just pumps up, stays full, just nothing. He doesn't play, he can play for hours. He's crazy. He gets better as he yeah. poses. Yeah, he does. He's got like a, a skin texture that's like reminiscent of like white guys, even though he's like a black guy. It's crazy, like it's a weird combination. I oh, the thin skin? Filipino. Yeah, he's like Filipino. Yeah. Uh, Jamaican, so he's probably to his benefit because oh. he's got like a thin skin for it. He gets Caucasian oh, he's dry, but he's black. <laughs> yeah, which is like not the most common thing you see, is it? Really? No, let's be honest. No, definitely not. 
there's there's traits to every um i always say it there's traits to every kind of nationality so you can have roundness you can have and then you get the outliers but he has this really nice dryness to him through the pecs through the lats you know that you just don't really see so it's impressive yeah, and i think that stands out i think that's why you know there was you know the debate i'm not going to go into it because you've probably spoke about it already but the whole like regan versus him thing you some people yeah. are a fan of that kind of gnarly harder looking muscle and then some like the flow and structure of a regan so you can i can understand when people are like well nathan's got the kind of granite and then regan's got the structure um and i think they're both great bodybuilders yeah, yeah obviously, obviously both very good, good. Yeah, you, you know, know regan it's like, like um it's, it's the silhouette, silhouette you know, know what i mean it's a silhouette it's the detail in the back like he has good insertions and he's big. He's just like a big, takes a tall, wide guy. Yeah. 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 Regan's my friend, obviously. I, I just saw him at the gym today. He was really happy for his win. He's training hard for the Olympia. But to be honest, like, even though he's my friend, if he would have lost that day, I would have not been like, oh, he got ripped off. No. no. It was very close. Right? Like, I, think, way, I, I think. I think. Today and, yeah. Way, yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's a deserved. Listen, at the end of the day, it's like. You, you just got. If you improve on yourself, the judges really appreciate that. And mm-hmm. Regan him did improve from that week to week, and they would have said to him, "Look, if you can improve, then there's a." You're right. And we yeah. were not there live, right? We were not there in person either, no, so we can't. There. Exactly. Yeah, but I'm really curious about like because Nathan is gonna, um, I think he's gonna come here very soon at Pure yeah, Muscle. He, he was. You said he was coming over. Yeah, and he's gonna do his the rest of his prep here and uh, go uh, do the Olympia. Through That's the beautiful. arbor. I hope he makes it, man. I, I really, it's a, yeah, it's a fucking shame that he hasn't that would made it the be, last few years. That would be great. And you know what they're going to do, probably? I'm, I'm wondering if Regan is like even better than Nails it. They're going to put him side by side in the call outs. And then now we're going to really see who's, you know, yeah. who's ahead yeah. of who. Where, where do you see those boys kind of landing in a show like the Olympia? Like, is there, is there a predicted place that you see them land? I or think Nathan top 10. Yeah. I think Nathan top 10. And, um, Unless Regan beats him, I think Regan could be eleventh or whatever, right? Because now you, because you said Big Rami, I'm gonna close this one sec. Big Rami is um out. Ian is out. So there's a few spots that could squeeze because we could have Brett, Justin, Regan, and maybe like Nathan all in the top ten at the tail yeah. end, fighting fighting for the top ten, right? Mm-hmm. So um, that's a bit interesting because I I wish. A little bit of a comparison that would be quite nice would be actually Justin and Nathan because they both have small waists. Just to see like the true really and lo- yeah. long torsos, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. Because you're both, yeah, like, we like, I think you're both in your front lat spread, probably two of the nicest front lat spreads, probably. There. That's right, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I get I get that a lot. Of, a lot of people say I look like Nathan mm, just with the longer torso. It's not a bad thing, is it? Well, no, 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 I'll Nathan. take it, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. So I, think... I would love to have a list of lists of the Olympians right now, but I can't find any. Anywhere the list is, we'll, we'll have to do that for another podcast. A big Olympia, like the deep dive preview. I would love to do that, but we just did an hour, guys. I know Nick, you gotta go. You guys got anything to add before we close this up? Thank you for having me, and uh, I really enjoyed the chat about yeah the mindset and stuff earlier. So appreciate you. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, no, we love having you on, James. Anytime you want, you're welcome. James, anything you're doing right now? You're promoting and uh, whatever. You want to um, shout out? Not particularly. Just working on the gym. Gym will be open December. So once the gym's nice. open, you'll hear more from me about that. And I'm going to try and sort out getting some of you lads over. And uh, yeah, so I will be in touch. Yeah. yeah be glad. glad. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching. Comment below. Thank you for listening. Good to see you all.